Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. So before we start, please let me know in the comments below, did you do a race last weekend? If you've been following my channel, as you know, I should have been doing a 10 mile race this week. So let's talk about my this week's training. So on Monday, as you know, I always take it off. And then on Tuesday, I did 5K on the treadmill. I wore my Alpha Flies and then I went to the track. It's not really a track, it's like a, it's, it's round but it's gravelly. So it's not as fast as the track, your feet does, you do slip a little bit when you go around the corners. So I did 4K, I did it around 340 place, I ran in the vapors and then I did 2K at 317 pace. I had to stop because my gut was hurting and I needed to go to the toilet and there's no toilets there. So I had to drive home to go to the toilet. And then on Wednesday, I took it off. And then on Thursday, I did 4K around 320 pace, around 321 I think it was. Then I did another 4K around 324 pace. And before I did that, I did a 5K warm up in Mino Blast. And on the track, I ran in my vapors again. Then on Friday after work, I did, I, I did a 10K um, run on the treadmill. I did it around five minute pace and then I drove to Kil Kinsale, which is in County Cork. I was supposed to do a 10 mile race, which is 16.22 kilometers altogether. It's three hours away from Dublin, uh, so it's pretty far. Well, it's far for Ireland anyway. I know it's not far for you uh, people in Europe and America. It's far for us, for, for us. <clears throat> so I got there Friday night. Then on Saturday morning, I put on my Nova Blast and I ran the course. Uh, I wouldn't run like the course on the same day because it's too far. Unless it's a 5K race, then I will do the 5K course. So I did the 10 mile course and uh, the first 8K was uphill and then the last 8K is downhill. So I, after I ran the course, I was confident I would uh, run a fast race because I want to do this because I need to I need to run fast so I know where my uh, training is for the half marathon which is seven weeks away so I felt confident uh, went out for a meal had a nice meal went to bed probably around 11 o'clock I woke up next day around 8 o'clock I looked outside oh god the weather it was crap so I put on my clothes and went for a coffee uh, there was a, a supermarket just around the co corner so I got me coffee there, I got some uh, wedgies, so I had wedgies on a, on a bun with my coffee and some porridge and fruit. Uh, I was staying in a b and uh, and uh, a woman went a bit to lie to me. Uh, it was supposed to come with breakfast when I got there, I got there at nine o'clock late at night and as soon as she opened the door she goes, you know there's no breakfast don't you? I said, well you said breakfast online, she goes no I don't do breakfast time, this time of year, is that okay, you can go somewhere else if you want. It was like nine o'clock in the evening, so I couldn't go anywhere else. So I took it anyway. So when I went for the coffee, uh, the wind was crazy. It was 55 kilometers per hour and it was chucking down rain. I thought, oh, by 12 o'clock, this will probably disappear. So I put on my running stuff. And me and Rachel went to the uh, start and it got worse. And, it's, and I've got a niggle as well. And I said to Rachel, this wind, 55 kilometers per hour, it's gonna push me all over the place. Uh, my power outlet is going to be too much. It's raining. Uh, I want to run fast. I might be able to run fast at this course. I said it's not worth injuring myself. So I'm not going to do it. And she didn't want to do it either. So we decided to drive home. So we got in the car straight away. Drove home. We got home at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. On the way home, we stopped off for something to eat. So as soon as we got back at 3 o'clock, we went for a speed session. Uh, it was windy in Dublin. It was only around 27, 28 though, and it wasn't raining. So I did a 5K warm up in Minova Blast, and then I did 4K around 320 pace, then I did another 4K around 320 pace, and then I did 6K around 333 pace. Uh, <clears throat> this is my half marathon training. Uh, if you do an half marathon training, four by four Ks, it's your goal pace is, is good training. Like next week, I will be upping it, I'll probably do three six Ks around, try around my marif half marathon pace. Uh, and this week, actually, I'm going to do uh, a four mile race, which is 6.43 kilometers. And I will run good. I will have a good race. I'm feeling my energy coming back since November. Uh, my legs, even though I've got the niggle, my legs are turning over and I just feel the energy and I'm going to run fast. Uh, my P 
PB for four miles is around 1940. I don't expect to run that fast because I am 50 years old. If I can run around 20, late 20 minutes, I'll be happy. Under 21 is good. If it's over 21 minutes, I will be a little bit disappointed. Around 20 minutes 50 will be good. I say for a 50 year old anyway, well for anyone. <clears throat> so I'm hoping, you know, I do that. And I reckon I will be close. I do feel strong. You know, the last two weeks training, I felt good. You know, it's best I felt for a long time to be honest with you. And last week I did three days of threshold training and I'm not even tired now. You know, so <laughs> I can I like Monday to now's Monday, it's my day off and I to be honest with you, I said to Rachel, I said I could actually go out now and do some more fresh threshold training. But I'm not going to. I need to be, you know, take the day off. Just take the day off. I actually only been running five days for the last two weeks. I did 70 kilometers this week. I did 70 week four, and I've only ran five days a week. Uh, I probably will run six days this week because I have the race on Sunday, and I know that will probably be a low day mileage. So I will run six days this week because I've got the energy. Anyway, guys, that's it. So uh, just remember, train harder, die trying. See you later.